dear students welcome to the new lecture of mathematics part 1 as you know that we are continuing practice set 3.3 see question number 4 here in an arithmetic progression 19th term is 52 and 38th term is 128 find the sum of the first 56 terms see dear students there is an arithmetic progression whose 19th and 38th terms are given here you can see the two terms here and we have to find out the sum of first 56 terms actually we don't know which ap is here and uh, we do not know all the terms of that ap and even then we have to find out the sum of the first 56 terms so how can we solve that See dear students let us write first what we have given but first of all we are going to consider the first term and the common difference of an ap suppose let a be the first term and d be the common difference of ap means whatever the ap is given here about that ap we are considering these two factors okay now again we have given here t19 means 19th term is denoted by t19 and which is given 52 here the second thing is given 38th term means t38 is equal to 128 these two things are also given in a question now what we have to find out the sum of first 56 terms means we have to find out s56 this is the thing that we have to find out you know s for sum and we have to find out 56 terms the sum of 56 terms that is the thing we have to find in this example now how to reach up to our target we can use the formula for tn we get two equations using these two uh, given things and using that whatever we get from that two equations will be used in the formula of sn okay now let us write the formula for tn we know that means we have tn is equal to a plus in bracket n minus 1 into d this is the formula for tn that we have already studied you know that now for t19 the same formula can be written as t19 means in place of n we are writing 19 here means on the right hand side also we can put the value of n equals 19 so a plus in bracket 19 minus 1 into d there are no values of a and d here so we are writing a and d as it is here okay now we are interchanging the sides means right side on the left and left side on the right see here a plus 18d you know that 19 minus 1 is 18 and 18 into d is 18d so we can write a plus 18d is equal to the value of t19 you can see here 50 in this way we get the first equation here in the same way we can also write the second equation for t38 so we can write t38 using the same formula for tn we are again using the same formula here t38 is equal to a plus in bracket 38 minus 1 into d again the value of n is 38 here means here also it will be 38 now like again we are interchanging the sides so we can write a plus 37d is equal to the value of t38 you can see here 128 in this way we get the second equation now let us add equation 1 and equation 2 adding equations 1 and 2 we will get some equation another equation so let us write here adding equations 1 and 2 you can directly add you don't have to write one 
after the other you can directly add them you can like this how to add this a plus a twice a plus 18 d plus 30 70 you know that 7 plus 8 is 15 carry 1 4 4 plus 1 5 means 55 d see the addition of 18 d plus 30 70 is 55 d and is equal to addition of right hand sides 8 plus 2 10 carry 1 3 3 plus 5 8 and this one will be as it is so this is the addition of 52 and 128 it is 180 suppose this is equation number 3 this equation is useful for finding s56 how it is used let us find it out uh, further now we are going to write the formula for sum of n terms and using that formula we can find out s56 okay now sn the formula for sn is sn is equal to n upon 2 in bracket twice a in simple bracket n minus 1 into d square bracket complete twice a plus here is a twice a plus in bracket n minus 1 into d this is the formula for finding the sum of n terms but we have to find out the sum of first 56 terms means in place of n we can write 56 so s 56 is equal to on the right hand side also the value of n will be 56 56 upon 2 in square bracket 2a plus in bracket again the value of n is 56 minus 1 into d as it is bracket complete see the values of a and d are not given in a question so we are writing a and d as it is in the whole example you can see that now this is the thing which we have to find out so we are not writing again on the left hand side we have to solve only the right hand side so if we divide 56 by 2 we get 2 to the 4 remains 1 16 to 8 the 16 so this division gives the answer 28 in bracket 2a will be as it is plus 56 minus 1 55 into d 55 d this bracket see this bracket you can see this bracket in a equation number 3 means we can put the value of this bracket directly from equation 3 i hope you must have understood how we get the equation 3 that we are going to use here now now 28 will be as it is this bracket is multiplied so we are going to give the sign here of multiplication and the value of twice a plus 55 d you can see from equation 3 it is 180 so where does this value come from from equation 3 you can write the reason there now let us do the multiplication once you do the multiplication you get the final answer that final answer means sum of the first 56 terms about that AP about the information is given now how to do the multiplication simple multiplication see if we place this 0 at the end we can multiply by 18 to the 28 so 18 8 is a 144 so 4 will be here carry 14 18 to the 36 36 plus 14 is 50 means the sum of the first 56 terms is 5040. This is our final answer. So I hope that you must have understood very easy question. You have to use two formulae here in this example. The formula for Tn. With the help of this formula you get the two equations for T19 and T38. Give them as equation number 1 and equation 2. Once you add both the equations, you get a particular equation that is 2a plus 55d is equal to 180. You cannot do any further steps for this equation. So give this equation as equation number 3. And then write the formula for Sn. Using this formula, you can find out S56 in which you get a particular bracket which is same as equation number 3 so that you can put the value of that bracket 
and can solve and get the answer. So very easy. Just remember this example is a very different type of example. Okay. Okay, students. Now let us see question number six. The sum of the first fifty-five terms of an AP is three thousand three hundred. Find the twenty-eighth term. So let us write what is given and what we have to find out. First, the information is about an arithmetic progression. There is an AP. Now the sum of the first fifty-five terms means we have given as fifty-five. It is three thousand and three hundred. Such an AP whose the whose sum of the first fifty-five terms is three thousand three hundred. What is the twenty-eighth term? Means we have to find out t twenty-eight twenty-eighth term of the same AP in which. The sum of the first fifty-five terms is three thousand and three hundred. Okay, dear students. Now, first, if we have given S fifty-five, means first of all we are going to use the formula for S n. And whatever the information we get in that formula, from that formula, we will use that in the formula of T n, means T twenty-eight. Okay. Let us move on further. First. Let a be the first term because the first term is not given here. So we are considering let a be the first term and d be the common difference. So these are the basic things that we should consider because that are not given here. common difference of given ap means whatever the ap is question is talking about given arithmetic progression so sn means formula for sn is you know that it is n upon 2 in square bracket twice a plus in bracket n minus 1 into d square bracket complete this is the formula for sn and using this formula we are going to write s55 so how to write s55 s55 means we are writing the value of n 55 so on the right hand side wherever wherever you find n you have to put the value of n 55 so here also we can write 55 upon 2 in bracket 2a plus again the value of n 55 minus 1 into d you cannot put the values of a and d because they are not given here don't forget that okay now what we can do further we can put the value of s55 here see the value of s55 3300 we can put that so let us write here 3300 is equal to 55 upon 2 in square bracket twice a plus 55 minus 1 is 54 54 d means by multiplying d to 55 minus 1 it becomes 54 d okay now here we can take these two numbers on the left hand side so that we can find it out means we get the value of 2a plus 54 d or you can take two common from this bracket as you see it is very easy you can take two as a common from these two terms so what will be the right hand side 55 upon 2 as it is into 2 2 as a common from these two terms which is taken outside here what remains inside a plus if 2 is taken from this also from this term also means remains here 2 to the 4 remains 1 14 27 the 14 27 See, dear students, two is taken common from both the terms, so what remains inside is written here. Okay, now here two two can be cancelled. Two is to the numerator and this two is to the denominator, so both are cancelled. What remains here? We can take three thousand three hundred. This fifty five, which is to the numerator here, can be shifted to the left side and becomes denominator. what remains on the right hand side you can see a plus 27d 
that is the right hand side 55 is shifted to the left side becomes divided now again interchanging the uh, sides we can write a plus 27d is equal to now if we divide this 3300 by 55 what we get first of all we are going to divide both the numbers by 11 we get first 11 threes are 33 these two zeros will be as it is 11 fives are 55 now we can divide this 300 by 5 what we get 5 6 are 30 and 5 zeros are 0 means a plus 27 d has a value of 60 you can give this as number 1 equation number 1 because you cannot solve this further you don't know the values of a and d so you cannot solve it further that's why you are stopping here and give it as equation number 1 now we can write the formula for tn because we have to find out t28 means we have to write the formula for tn here you know that formula for tn is a plus in bracket n minus 1 into d don't forget these two formulae these two formulae are very important in this chapter so try to remember these two formulae okay now we can write t28 means in place of n we are writing 28 means on the right hand side also in place of n you have to write t20 sorry 28 okay so a plus in bracket 28 minus 1 into d now t28 will be as it is because that you have to find out on the right side a plus 28 minus 1, 27 into D means 27 D. Now, A plus 27 D has a value. You can see in equation number 1. See the value of A plus 27 D is 60. So, in place of A plus 27 D, you can directly write 60. And from where do you write here? From equation number 1. In the place of a plus 27d, you have written 60, that is from 1. So, this is the value of t28. Means, the arithmetic progression in which the sum of the first 55 terms is 3300, that AP has a 28th term is 60. I hope that you must have understood it is also very easy example only matters here your calculation if you don't do any mistake in a calculation you will get the perfect answer okay so what you have done i repeat again see s55 was given and you have to write you have to find out t28 so first of all you consider the first term and the common difference of the given ap and with the help of formula of Sn, you first find out S55. S55 is given. You put that value and get the particular equation. Where you cannot do anything, that equation will be your first equation. For finding T28, you have written here the formula for Tn. And then by substituting the value of N equals to 28, you get a, again a value where you can't do anything but if you look at the equation number one you can see the value of a plus 27 d 60 that you have substituted directly in this way you get the t28 means 28th term of the ap okay